All right, let's get our chief that's right, uh, Rick. We're still tracking these storms that are now making their way across the area. It looks like, though, the severe weather threat has ended for most of us. There's still that strong storm, though, that's in southeast Caroline County. But once that moves out in the next 15, 20 minutes or so, we're done with the severe weather here for the rest of tonight. Let me show you what's going on with the radar. Light to moderate rain still occurring across parts of the eastern shore. There's that strong storm now crossing over the Delaware state line there, uh, headed east. Still some pretty decent downpours, American Quarter up towards Denton. Uh, some pretty decent downpours there. We're talking rainfall rates one to two inches per hour as this tracks off towards the east. And some other storms that are down approaching Somerset County here. We'll be watching these down towards Smith Island. These will be heading over towards sections of Worcester County as well as Somerset County. So these may have a chance of going severe here over the next uh, hour or so. But some redevelopment actually occurring back towards the west. This is up in the parts of Frederick County. This is north of Thurmont up in the Catoctins. You can see this is heading mainly towards the south and east towards 15. So we'll be watching this. We don't anticipate it becoming severe, but Emmitsburg possibly getting in on some more showers here for this evening. But anything that does happen to pop up this evening west of I-95 will be very isolated. And it looks like as we go through the rest of tonight, we'll see a drying trend. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies expected for your Wednesday, and temperatures and humidity are going to be on the comfortable side. We're in the 70s and 80s now, some 60s still showing up. Easton right now, as well as Bel Air in the upper 60s, 76 here in Baltimore, 81 out towards Westminster, and Frederick, 78 for Hagerstown. So, forecasts again through tonight. Partly cloudy skies, some patchy fog possible late tonight. Temps into the upper 60s and lower 70s. So, what's in store for the rest of the week? Much quieter weather. For Wednesday and Thursday. Now, storm chances are going to return to the forecast on Friday as we get a southerly wind back to the area. It'll bring the humidity back to the region. But the upper level core of the upper level low pressure system is still back here. You can see the counterclockwise spin there. It's gradually pushing out. The big storms will move offshore, and we'll have a few of these clouds to contend with here for tomorrow. So, rain chances over the next six days looking like this. 10% or less here through Wednesday and Thursday, and then gradually starting to ramp up as we head into the weekend. This actually looks a lot worse than it'll be. We'll get some beneficial rain out of it, and you'll get enough time outside, but we're not expecting a complete washout by any stretch of the imagination. So let's talk about your Wednesday forecast. Not looking bad at all. Skies, though, will be partly cloudy to mostly sunny, expecting temperatures during the afternoon. Again, the top out into the lower 80s. Here's your first alert seven day forecast, and 88 or 4. Your Thursday, so we get a little bit warmer than what will be tomorrow. And the humidity is going to creep back into the area by Friday, 88 degrees. Then, same thing for Saturday with scattered storm chances. Fourth of July, right now looking hot with dry weather and sunshine, highs near 90 degrees. But again, the next couple of days not looking too bad with comfortable overnight low temperatures into the low to mid 60s. Back over to you guys.